Welcome back to Skibid Tech. If you're struggling to install eSign on your iPhone or iPad, even after resetting your device, you're in the right place. In this video, I'll show you the latest and most reliable method to install eSign and how to use it to install IPA files easily. This method works perfectly on all devices and on all latest iOS version and the old version as well. So stay tuned. First, let me try the other so-called latest working method few guys posted on their YouTube channels. And they claim that this method is working. So let me try it first, and I am trying it on the recently reset device, so it should work. First, I installed their provided DNS, and then I went to their provided website to install the eSign app. I tried all their links to install eSign app in my iOS device, and none of them worked. I can understand that if my iOS device was blacklisted, and that's why I can't install any eSign app. But my iPad is already reset, but still it's failing to install eSign app from any provided links. So let me show you the working solution. First of all, make sure in settings, general, and then VPN and device management, there is no DNS installed. If you have any other DNS installed in there, simply remove it from your iOS device. Then open Safari and then go to this website. I will provide the link in the description. Then hit on Install DNS Profile and then hit Allow to download the DNS profile. Now open the settings and then hit on the downloaded profile and then hit Install and hit Install again to install the DNS profile in your iOS device. After installing the DNS profile, now you will see a new app on your iOS device screen. Now open the app and then scroll down and then you will see also eSign links there. Simply hit on one of the link and then hit install to install eSign app in your iOS device. And you can see, with hitting the first link, I was able to install eSign app in my iOS device without any problem. Now open settings, and then open general, and then open VPN and device management. Then open enterprise app, and then simply hit trust to let the eSign app work in your iOS device. If you are on iOS 18, then you have to hit allow and restart to let the eSign work. Now you will be able to open eSign app. Now first you need to open the DNS profile app again. Then hit on download eSign certificate. Then simply save the eSign certificates zip file in your iOS device. Now open the eSign app again and then hit on three dots on top and then hit import and then select the eSign certificate zip file. Once the eSign zip file imported, now hit on the eSign certificate zip file and then simply hit unzip, then you will get a new eSign certificate folder. Now hit on the same name certificate in which you have installed the eSign app and then hit import certificate management. Now you are good to use eSign app and install IPA files via eSign in your iOS device. Simply download the IPA file you want to install. Then open the eSign app again, and then hit on three dots on top, and then hit import, and then select the IPA file you want to install in your iOS device, and then hit import. Once the IPA file is imported, now simply hit on the apps and then hit on your IPA file and then hit signature and then hit signature again. I remember everything. And how careless now once it's signed 100%, simply hit install and hit install again to install your IPA file in your iPhone or iPad. Make sure to hit signature first before installing the app, otherwise the app won't install. And also make sure to keep the airplane mode on when using the apps installed via eSign. 
then you will see you will be able to enjoy the eSign app for a longer period of time. And it's also important to keep the DNS on the same DNS profile we have installed and don't connect it to your mobile data as well. Always keep it connected to Wi-Fi. And also when you want to restart the device, the airplane mode must be on as well. And that's it. You've now successfully installed the sign and learned how to install IPA files on your iPhone or iPad using the latest method. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to Skibbity Tech, and share it with others who might need this solution. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.